All right, y'all, so far I have hatched out 22 in this, uh, this time. And I'm trying to show you. See right there, that baby right there, and that baby right there, these two back here. Those are the ones that uh, we are mixing with the one baby that made it out of uh, String Trill Ridge Farms uh, quail. They're so much prettier. So I thought that would be a neat change in, in uh, stuff. That one right there, I probably should have left it in the brooder, I mean the incubator, just a little bit longer. It looks like it's having a hard time. But it'll dry off, and if it makes it, it makes it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Well, I think it'll be fine. It just, I, I thought it was drier than it was when I picked it up and brought it in here, but I don't know. We'll see. It looks like it's got sprawled legs, too, but you never know. All right, y'all. I couldn't stand it any longer. I had another little baby hatch out. <laughs> and he just a chirping and chirping, and he needs to be in here with his friends. Get some water. So, <laughs> poor little guy. So, I always show him where the water is, and then I'll move him up here into the uh, food, so he can get all the food he wants. That other little baby dried off, and he's fine. He's running around here somewhere. <laughs> They're so cute. I absolutely adore watching them. Man, I'm telling you something. These ones that got the cross with uh, uh, that um, string trail bridge farms had. Oh my goodness gracious. They are so fast. Huh? David had to trim the wings on, on the, the mother because she just is too fast. They're all pretty fast. You see how fast they're running around and carrying on. They're so cute. I love sitting and watching them. I know it sounds crazy, but it's very mesmerizing. So, I'm going to get out of here and let them alone. It looks like the little one's getting mad at the bigger one. And <laughs> Oh, well. They'll have fun. They'll be, they'll be uh, in the brooder for a couple of weeks at least before I take them outside and put them in the cages out there. But... I always make sure that they're fully feathered before I take them out. It's so warm here that that it's it, that you can take them out quicker than you can anywhere else, probably. <laughs> Just two silly birds. It's funny, they all want to get behind the tray. I should probably move that water over and give them a little bit more space there. Let me see if I can do that. Oh yeah, that was successful. And they're hopping over the the uh, top of there. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, my phone's running down, so I'm gonna cut this off for now. Okay, y'all. I'm telling you, that was the easiest dehydrating that I've ever done. The other video where I showed these, uh, getting these for $2, they dehydrated up and filled up a whole quart jar.
That is so awesome. So instead of me having all that space that I would be using in the freezer, hey, it's in a jar and I can use it anytime I want and it'll last forever. Well, I'm out here in the uh, backyard and I am going to cut me some uh, zinnias. If you guys want cut flowers for your home, these are the way to go. They are so beautiful. They're not really fragrant, but they are absolutely stunning. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them inside and I'm going to put them in a flower vase. And I want you to know they come back. They, the more you cut them, the more flowers you end up with them. So that's why I've been cutting them. Uh, I wasn't, I'm, I've never grown these before and I'm so excited to be able to have cut flowers in the house all the time. I really, really love it. So that's something you guys may want to try. And then when the flower dries, you can keep those flower buds and those have seeds in them and you can replenish your, your, uh, your, um, zinnias for the next season. Hey y'all, I wanted you to check out these beautiful bromeliads. I mean, if this ain't pretty, I don't know what is. Let me bring them closer. Check that out. Oh! Sorry guys, I had a bend down. That is so pretty. And uh, these, this purple one here, it will get a little stronger, but they are so pretty. It's awesome what God creates, isn't it? All these beautiful little vermilion. Okay, squirrel. I got a squirrel up there. We're fixing to get down the, the nest because he is tearing up my trees. Look at, he just chewed that off right there. That's part of my tree. My mango tree. Up in there. Oh, let's see the pile they've made. These are all where they've chopped them off and they're all throughout my bushes here and everything. So, I got somebody to get them off, get them down out of there. Even here. Just furiates me all those beautiful limbs that have been just cut off. I hate, hate, hate squirrels. Did I say I hate squirrels? I really do. I hate squirrels. Not much things in this world I hate, but I hate squirrels. So that's the nest I'm getting taken down because I'm telling you, I'm furious place and then for them to chop my limbs off of my mango and uh, let them fall on me. Yeah, they've got a whole pile of them over here in the front. 